Michael Cookie next is a man in charge of the Michelin star Scandinavian restaurant Texture. He's making his first appearance on Saturday Kitchen this morning. Uh, welcome to the show, Aggie Sperrison. Good to have you on the show, Thank Aggie. Thank you. Great to have you on the show. Thank you. Uh, now, your food. Okay. This is a, like a twist on a classic Scandinavian dish, is that exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. Okay, so what's the name of it, first of all? So, we are doing grab Yep. With horseradish and mustard sauce. It was all going f so well until you said horseradish, but go on. I would put, like, put extra horseradish. Thank you very much, yeah. yeah. Cucumber, rye bread. Okay, all right. Okay. I hate so, horseradish, by the way, that's word. Right, next. So, so you want me to do the lemons? Please, lemons. So, so the peel these and julienne. Yeah, please. Now, the traditional way of doing uh, grab lax over They used to bury it. Is, they used to bury it? Yeah. Do you still do that? Not really, no. We do it much simpler now. So, so, so you've got a fridge now. So exactly. <laughs> so basically what we do is, at, at home, basically, maybe four days, we marinate for four days, and then we eat it. But uh, I'm doing it for one hour, one hour only. Right. So that this mixture that you've got in the bottom of the tray, what's that? That's salt, 50-50 salt and sugar, basically. And are you using table salt or are you using sea salt? Table salt. Because table salt. it's a quick marinade and needs to go quickly in, in the fish. Here I have some rye bread, which I'm just going to seal off. Okay. Okay. Could you use another fish yeah. other than what you're using for the... You can use whatever you want to, really. Definitely. Yeah. There's there you go. Now, I've had this with trout, actually, which is very good. Yeah, it's fantastic as well, yeah. trout. Especially now, uh, sea trout, fantastic. There's the left. So, okay. half, half, sugar and salt. Half, half, sugar and salt. Yeah. And then you do what with this? And this, I put in the fridge to marinate for one hour. Right. And then you want me to do the cucumber next, yeah? Please. Peel, chop. Okay, so, what, I mean, what brought you, obviously, the food brought you to the UK. Um, your first place that you worked, where was the first place you worked? You uh, worked in many, with yeah. many great chefs as well. I, I worked, uh, I did it at the at the Tom Aikens, right. many, many, many years ago. Yeah. And then uh, I went and worked for, uh, for Marcus Berry. Uh, Petrus. Petrus. And yeah. then uh, Mr. Raymond Black himself. Because you, I mean, you were around the box for quite some time because you were, ended up being head chef? Yeah, yeah, I was there for five years. Yeah. Five very short but very long years at the same time, <laughs> if that makes sense. But, but what did you learn, really, from there? Because one thing that I noticed about your cooking, and particularly your restaurant, there's no butter. There's no butter. Is that what you learned there's from no the cream either. No, it isn't. But what I learned from the manor is actually clean, fresh flavours. Yeah. Very light sauces and so on and so on. I was going to say, the man, well, they use about 50 kilos a day, don't they? they? Well, a minimum, I would say. Minimum. <laughs> Okay, I have the salmon here, which yep. I've washed off the marinade. Yep. I'm going to put here an oil, which is about 50 degrees. So is this just vegetable oil? Or no, olive oil. Oil, olive oil. Olive oil. Yeah. You can use extra virgin, and you can also use uh, a light olive oil. It's up to you, really. Okay, and the secret of that is it's a low temperature. That's the Very low temperature, it. yeah. Okay. About 50 degrees. And the cucumber here I've just peeled, I've de-seeded, and then you're going to freeze these? Freeze it, yes. Okay. Why are we freezing it? Because we are cooking it. By freezing it, we are cooking it, actually. Completely different texture, and it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Okay. For the oil, do you ever put aromats into the oil? Cinnamon or... Sorry? For the oil, the coffee? Yeah, well, we, often we put uh, lemon zest, for example, yeah. lime zest. Any star anise or cinnamon? You can put whatever you want to, really. Okay. Yeah. Quick tip, don't take a frozen tray out of the freezer with wet hands. <laughs> I'm going to do the mustard sauce. It sticks. Sauce. It sticks. Yeah. Right. Right, and then you're going to basically refresh these in boiling water? Or yeah, well, in hot water, water really. In right. the ideal world, you want to put it in the fridge for two hours to let it uh, uh, defrease like that, basically. Right. So basically, they go from that, so like you say, to then cooked? Yes. So we'll lift these out. We'll drain these out. Mustard. Now, explain this. This is the yeah. dressing. Yeah, so okay. we have Greek yogurt here. You can use light yogurt if you want to. Right. Okay. Whatever yogurt you want. Uh, mustard, grain mustard, muscovado sugar. We need some lemon here from you, please. Yeah. Thank you. So really when you're doing this quick one, the quick quickness is the cooking in the oil. Is that sorry? Is that to speed it up, this this way of doing it? You cook it in the oil yes. to speed it up. Yes, definitely. Okay. Right. There you go. So what else goes in the sauce? Uh, so I must have sugar, lemon, we can lose that. You don't need that. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, what's great, this? Uh, that's Sol. Sol. My favourite. The you your favourite? Seaweed, yes. We used to eat it in front of the television when I was young, instead of snack or, or, or crisps or Did whatever. Did you have rhubarb and custard sweets and stuff no, like that? No, we didn't. <laughs> just ate that. It's fantastic. I love it. Do you like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. 
That'd be full of umami, though, I'd imagine, that seaweed. That's actually it's fantastic. It's not, it's not too known. salty. It comes from very clean sea. But it's fantastic. That's disgusting. I absolutely love it. What do you think? I don't think it's going to catch on in the pub tonight. Oh, really? You know, with pork scratchings, you know what I mean? Can it it's nice, but what we're going to... We've dried this out, haven't we? This one. Yes. Are you going to put this in this one here, Trenta? It looks like the bottom of my cigar tray. <laughs> Right, so you dry it out in the oven, you yes. end up with this, right? Yeah. And then we just blend this in a coffee grinder. Yes, and you can end up with this lovely powder. Right. Looks like, well, what does it look like? Well, you and Iceland and ash, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but this, 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 this ash was long before the volcano. Yeah, it is, it, yeah. it is, actually. I take the dealer, thank you. I've got a new business idea for you, though. Come on, you know when off. you've stopped opening all these restaurants all over the place? Yeah. Go back to Iceland. Yeah. Really, nobody's actually done it yet. Sell dusters. Sell dusters? What's yeah. that? Sorry, it will catch on. <laughs> right, so we blitz this. Yeah. This is the ash. This, this is, is what we're ash, yeah. this is what we're You put this for. on everything. Yeah. Everything. I put it on my desserts. I put it on my lamp. The lamp is obviously eats this day in, day out. So when you season it actually with this as well, it's fantastic. Right, okay. There you go. Right, and don't forget all today's studio recipes and clear this one from Aggie. You're on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. You can find dishes from previous shows on bbc.co.uk forward slash recipes. Now we've got a plate there. This is a little cucumber salad that you're going to do as well. So tell us about your restaurant then, this texture. So it was opened by yourself and... And my business partner, Savio Rose. This used to be the sommelier at And uh, we opened two and a half years ago. We've been extremely lucky. We've been, I would say, very successful. Uh, I don't pretty successful. You got your first Michelin star in six yes. months. Yes. No, we didn't actually. It was two years. Two years. Yeah. Didn't it? Too long, isn't it? <laughs> it should have been six. Months. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I said. But uh, no, it's been very good. And I mean, I don't use cream or butter. Butter, I don't use in. I've anything. got that. It's registered. Yeah. Is it? Don't okay. use butter. It's in there. Butter. Got it. yeah. right. So what have we got in here? Okay. So mustard, vinegar. There's vinegar. That's here. Yeah. Very good vinegar. Mustard. Salt, okay. meat, and dill, and obviously the ash. Come on. Just if you feel the whole thing. Okay, perfect. Right. I think I'm just about ready. So the okay. salmon has been here now for 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's fantastically cooked. Should be. And the best way to know if it's cooked actually or not, it's actually by taking it and pushing it. If you if you can the go easily through leaves flakes, yeah, flakes, then you know it's actually cooked. Okay. So dill on. Plenty of dill. We love our dill in Scandinavia. Yeah. And there's nothing you like sorrel as well, don't you? Sorrel and dill is our just favourite. An ash. An ash. Plenty of ash, actually. Yeah. So got, right. Let's go. Let's start to plate this up then. Yeah. So this cucumber in there, you've got some mustard, a little bit of like I said, the ash and the uh, dill. The dill, so, yeah. So. Bit of vinegar in there as well, or not? Yes, vinegar as well. Yeah. So, the sauce. And that. Perfect. Cucumbers. Again, the, the food we do is very rustic, so you just put it, scatter it around, basically. Throw it on with finesse, we call it. Yeah, okay, exactly. Yeah. So, one goes here. Like that. Perfect. What am I missing? And then you've got your rye bread. Don't forget. Uh, yeah. The rye bread, I'm just going to take like that. And just... Break it in our hands like that. It's beautiful. And you cook that in what? A little bit of butter? All the way. Butter, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got oh, it there, actually. Right. Yeah, I nearly got you then. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More yeah, ash. More ash. Plenty of ash. Yeah, plenty of ash. Yeah, yeah. Sorrel. There you go. And obviously, the dill. Perfect. So remind us what that is again. Gravlax, rye bread, horseradish sauce, cucumber. And don't forget the ash. And the ash. Plenty and the of ash. it. Plenty of it. There you yeah. go.